Hello there, guys. It is Josie Posey, and we are back with some more Undertale. And it looks like we must be at the end. Ooh. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, the audio kind of got a little corrupted uh, while recording, and it kind of sucked because it's funny. I, I watched the video. Um, today actually saying five things YouTubers really don't like and the first thing they mentioned was when your capture uh, when your stuff gets corrupted and guess what happened to me yay <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully this doesn't happen this time if it does um, I'll just voice over again like what I did in the previous part. But again, that's only if it happens this part. Hopefully it doesn't, so with that, guys, let's continue on. This music. It's so... <sighs> New home. It's Toriel's home. Oh my gosh. The music, the music alone is just like, oh my gosh. There's a heart-shaped lock inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah. Oh my god, this music. <laughs> the feels. There's a worn dagger. Ooh. Guys, you might say you don't need it, but you need it. Before we go on, though, um, look, I have, like, nothing. Um, hopefully you guys still have the butterscotch pie, because... You're gonna be really happy um, if you do. Uh, let's see. Uh, armor, defense. Okay. I'm gonna wear that. And I'm also going to equip the dagger. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, but you can't kill anything! Ooh. But you're gonna need it. Oh, wait, okay. All the yellow flowers. Wouldn't that be weird if one of them was flowy? Ooh. Oh my god, this music is amazing! <gasps> a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Hmm. Oh, there's the key! You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. Blah. He brought the human back to the castle. And we're gonna continue. Oh, there's no attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. <laughs> if you have anything that you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Er, oh, wait. Hallway. Um, am I miss? I think the key is over here. Yes, there we go. <gasps> okay. Um. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Hope. Yay! Happiness and hope. You took the key. All right. We got that keychain too, or key on um, our keychain too. So now we have both keys. So we could go open this now. Okay. God, oh, this music. The feels. Oh, it's different now. And it's so sad. <laughs> then, one day, a human became very ill. Hmm. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Hmm. That makes me sad. <laughs> the next day, the human- the, uh, the next day. <laughs> the human died. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, Azriel. Wrecked with grief, absorbed the human soul. 
He transformed into the being with incredible power. Snow drink. I think that was his name. Oh my gosh. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Oh, Azrael is a good, is a good monster. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Hmm. Azrael. Hmm. Oh, wait. Suddenly, screams rang out. Rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed them, the child. No, no, not true. <laughs> the, <clears throat> the child uh, died from being sick, yeah. Uh -huh. Acting with everything they had. He was struck with blow. He weighed blah, blah, blah. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But I wonder, did Azrael destroy them? No, no, no. He did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael, Azrael smiled and walked away. <laughs> this feels wounded. Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh, God. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The human had once again taken everything from us. Stupid human. So mean and evil. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. But I thought... Or, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. He will give us hope. He will save us all. My gosh, these four monsters. And the music again. The music is so filthy. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? He, 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 yeah. The fact that I have to kill Asgore. No. You're going to be free. <laughs> oh, the music stopped. The music stopped. Uh, let's go down here. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder what this is that we're going to save. All right, before we do that though, um, let's see where, oh, okay. That takes us back over here. Um, let's, let's do that then. Uh, let's, let's, let us be judged. This is it, guys. This is it. I wonder who that could be. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. Ooh. A way of qualifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP experience increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. Ooh, glad we didn't kill anyone then. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt, the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Sons! Oh, I didn't hurt anyone! But you, you never gained any love. 
course, that doesn't mean you've completely, you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you keep a certain tenderness in your heart, because I could not hurt an innocent monster. They're so cute and sweet. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love. You gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, sons. Oh my gosh. This game, it fills me with determination. Oh, determination. Oh. Again, this game is absolutely amazing though. Like it's it's so so deep and ah. Throne room. All right, before we do that, I see this, and we're gonna go see what's down here. Ooh, it got quiet all of a sudden, and we're going downstairs. I'm assuming. Ooh. Oh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Jo 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 jo. It's empty. Um. We're going to pretend we did not see that. Um, we're going to pretend we did not see a, a coffin with our name on it. Nope, nope, totally okay. It's totally okay. Um, I already saved. <gasps> Look at this big bed of flowers. So we finally meet Asgore. Dum dee dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering the, these flowers. Boop, 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 boop. Here, here we are. Or, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. Howdy. How can I? <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh. Well, then, this is awkward. <laughs> Ah, uh, dot dot dot. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Mm, I don't want to die, I don't want to fight you. Oh, that's gore. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Yeah, I'm glad Asgore is saying that in night sounds <laughs> because you all know what happens if sound says that it's evil. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> continue. <laughs> I'm just rambling now. You know what we must do? When you're ready, come into the next room. <sighs> I don't want to. I'm gonna save. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to a dentist. Yeah, okay. Getting killed is clearly like a trip to the dentist. Yeah, just I'll, I'll just go to the dentist and give them my soul. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Mm, I know he doesn't want to hurt. I know he don't. <laughs> Asgore. Alright, guys. With that, I'm going to end the part right here, though. Um, I th figured I could go on and do this little battle with Asgore, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to save that for the next video. Keep you guys 
on your a on on edge or I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll probably name this like the calm before the storm or something like that, because oh man, <laughs> this is definitely the calm before the storm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do, leave a like. Um, leave a little comment. Say hello. Like hello. Um, and again, I know this part like there was nothing really too crazy going on. Like we were just being judged and we were learning the story of Undertale, like the beginning, like the first human. Um, who I think you guys know. <laughs> um but uh yeah, like oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> again, even though I beat this game ready. I'm, uh, I could just feel the feels. I'm ready feeling feels already. Feels, feels, feels. Alright, um, but again, if you want to stay tuned for the next part, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. See ya!